everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how I undo these crochet braids which I've had for five weeks. I first start off by sectioning a bit of the braid which I will um, end up cutting. So I cut off at the base of the braid as close to my hair as possible just making sure that I do not cut my hair. I realized that with my braids they were quite matted together so I decided to just cut the whole lot and then remove it as one big bunch. So cutting as close as possible to the hair helps you with the actual undoing. So once I'm done, I look a bit like a pigeon, but that's okay. Um, I then go to remove the remainder of the hair. Some of it I had to remove using a red tail comb. Um, because it was a bit stuck, but it was mostly just very easy to remove. This is what my hair looked like when it was all out. And it actually looks so very lackluster. I have a bit of growth and it looks like it's actually quite matted. Um, I did keep this hair on for five weeks and I didn't um, do a wash day. Oops. Um, On to removing the twist. This is the part where you have to be very careful because your hair, if you like me, didn't really take care of it, is quite dry and there's a lot of loose shade hair and some breakage. So you need to be careful in taking um, the flat twist out. I think this is where flat twists are better than um, cornrows because they're much easier to take out in my opinion and um, require a bit less manipulation. I use the Aunt Jackie's Not On My Watch Instant Detangling Therapy I mix that with coconut oil to make my detangling um, concoction if you want to call it that. Um, I then separated my hair into four and within those four sections I will still separate it into sections as you guys will see a bit later on. And then I worked with one section, I added a bit of my mixture into it just to get the hair, you know, a bit moisturized, a bit nice and slippery. I discovered a, a twist that I hadn't taken out over there. Um, but the concoction really helps in keeping the hair nice and, you know, supple and easy to work with. So I also um, applied on my scalp because this will be essentially my pre pouring um, concoction so I just get in there and just make the hair as um, soft as I can also being quite gentle um, I concentrate a bit on the ends because they've taken a bit of a beating so I do one section small section at a time add a bit of hair and just finger detangle the whole way I didn't use a comb at all for um, this session. So now moving on to a bit of coarser hair which is near the crown of my head. The same thing, I am adding product and I am detangling using my fingers only. Ideally you should start detangling at um, close to the ends of your hair and work your way towards the roots. But sometimes I forget to do that and I will start at the roots. So yeah it's not I shouldn't do it but yeah sometimes I forget and that's how it is so I just carry on detangling and then once I think I'm sufficiently done I then twist up my hair so to just keep it away and know which section I've done and which section I haven't done Again, on the crown of my head, I'm going in with my fingers only. Like I said, I did not use a comb for this detangling session. Just coat, rake, coat and rake. And then twist once you're done. Now 
and this is what my hair looks like when I'm done so I have all these twist outs and I am now ready to pre-poo and do the rest of my wash day I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you again for watching I'll see you again next time bye